December 2nd, and we have the second whiskey from the advent calendar. But before I get into uh, day number two, I want to talk about yesterday's one. Um, and I opened it up a little bit with a bit of water, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm still working myself up about that bottle. Like, it's just, uh, I've got to try and get one of those bottles. I think it's one of the coolest things. So, anyways, let's get into day number two, December the 2nd. Uh, day two, where are we? All right, so the only thing about these things is they're a little bit hard to kind of open, but let's see how we go. All right, so, okay, cool. McHenry Single Malt Whiskey. Um, now, it doesn't say what one it is, I don't think. It is 47%. Uh, this traditionally handcrafted at Australia's southernmost most whiskey distillery from Tasmania's Bali and the distiller's own public or pure spring water these are very hard to actually read so um, let's give this a try so it has no information about what cask it's from or anything like that Ooh, that's very sweet on the nose Ooh. bit of the wood oak coming through a bit of burr i think it's a I'm gonna probably completely get this wrong, but I reckon that's a bit of a, maybe a sherry finish, maybe. It's definitely bourbon, but it's got something at the end. I think it's been finished in something. That is beautiful on the nose. So I'm not gonna worry about any water because it is a 47%, we'll keep it at that. Now, McHenry, um, as I said, it's the most southernest distillery in Tasmania. Uh, we were there in, um, I don't know what month it was, I think it was April or something like that. Uh, we went for a bit of a tour, went down to Port uh, Arthur and we didn't realize that this was so close. So we went to the distillery and had a look. So if you haven't actually been to Tasmania and you want to get down, they don't just do whiskey and I think mainly they do a lot of gin. Um, they actually have accommodation at the uh, distillery as well, which is kind of cool. They looked really good. So um, that would be awesome to see. And I think they've got tours included and all that kind of stuff. So. Oh, wow. Okay, so first initial hit on that. It's one of the big problems with Australian whiskey is that people find it that's only been aged for a couple of years. <clears throat> it's just our weather and they think it's all underaged. This is very nice, but it's also very short. So this is a quick drinker or an easy drinker. I'm just trying to get a bit of profile on there. I'll be honest, I can't even pick any flavors on that. Um, that though is very, very bloody enjoyable. And again, uh, they've done really well with their selections of their bottles from that. That is, I don't even know. I'm trying to pick it, but I just can't. All I can say is that that is bloody enjoyable. So congratulations to me, Henry, for producing that. As I said, they don't really produce too much whiskey from my knowledge. Um, I think when we went there, there was only like two different bottles we could buy. Um, and uh, we had a tasting of like three different ones or four different ones, but you yeah, know, this is, this is quite good. I'm gonna have to find some more information about uh, this bottle because there is nothing on here at all. All right, so what I did is I've jumped online um, before we wrap up and I wanted to have a quick look. Again, unfortunately, there's not really much information on their website about what they're releasing. The thing is, what I've got here, uh, they've done a fair few different releases. They've got a website here with release 25 on there. Um, the problem is they're all different. So it looks like they're just doing kind of one release at a time. Um, and go from there. So I really don't know. There's the Koya um, Autumn Japanese, that's release number 26, uh, but that is a 55%. Another one, which is the week one before that, was a 42%. This is a 47%. So unfortunately, I can't find out the information on that, but it looks like 100 litre American oak uh, bourbon barrels 
and uh, yeah, it looks like American oak bourbon barrels is what they pretty much do. But I got, as I mentioned, a bit of sweetness, a bit of like that, I don't know, a wine or a, a sherry or something like that. Um, they do have or have had stuff in the past. So yeah, there's some information uh, for you with the website. If you're looking, um, their website doesn't really work when you go to the shop and click on whiskey. So they'll probably need to fix that. Uh, but there is, as I mentioned, the accommodation side of things through Airbnb, which is pretty bloody epic. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap up and I'm gonna enjoy this because um, yeah, that is a very amazing whiskey. So congratulations, McHenry. I'll see you tomorrow.